Hi water signs! This is a love reading for all my water signs out there, for Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. For what love is going to bring you this summer. So this is for all of July and the beginning of August. This is the summer love, romance, intimacy, passion, reading, to see what is what and what's going on. So I am going to switch the screen so you can see what's going on. Go. Remember this may resonate with you, this may not resonate with you 100% and that is fine because this is for all air signs. If you do enjoy these group readings with um, Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces. <laughs> Don't know how I had a brain fart there, but anyways. <laughs> um, let me know in the comments or give me a thumbs up and I'll know to do more of this type of reading or if you're rather the individual sign reading. I just decided to group them all together because some signs don't get as much attention as others. And that is okay. And, you know, air signs do have some similar personalities and similar qualities. So we're going to try this and see how it works out. First, we're going to see what is coming for love for the water signs. What is coming for love for the water signs? What is coming for love, passion, romance, intimacy for the water signs? Ooh. Look at that. So do you need a beach day? <laughs> A date on the beach would be so romantic. Mm, I can see that. <laughs> you do have the King of Swords, the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords, that's a good one to have. Someone wants to take action towards you if they haven't already. It also says, be ambitious, chase your ever dream. That's right up your alley, Scorpio and Cancer and <laughs> Pisces. You also have the Page of Cups. So I don't know if this person who wants to take action towards you. My cards are a little bit, I don't know if that is better. They were a little glary there, weren't they? There we go. I think I took care of the flare. <laughs> you can see the cards now. Um, yeah, I do feel that for you. Then you also have the chariot that definitely want to take action towards you. I feel like they do view you as the queen of swords, someone who is very intellectual. So this may be an air sign who is attracted to you or you are, will be attracted to. Um, yeah, this one that also says, don't you dare lower your price for anyone. So that means make sure you know where you stand make sure you have those clear boundaries around this person because <laughs> this person won't be afraid to tell you what their boundaries are what their expectations are don't let this person abuse you not not really abuse you but like take advantage of you you know take advantage of your kindness and your sensitivity and all that sort of thing yeah and for the chariot taking advantage taking <laughs> taking charge of your path this is you'll never get away if you keep standing still. So you'll never get away if you keep standing still. So the only way to attract this new love towards you is to take charge, you know, open up your heart, <laughs> take action like the Knight of Swords. So I don't know if this is you taking action towards someone or someone taking action towards you. It can go either way depending which sign you are and how this resonates with you. If you are in a relationship already, maybe it's just time to communicate and start planning that date at a beach or anywhere else. Maybe a bike ride together or anything, you know. It's, been watching Netflix or whatever that is for you. Maybe getting up there for a picnic. I can see that as well. I can see some of you going on a boat somewhere. Let's see, what is what what else does the water signs need to know about this love connection? What else does the water signs need to know about this love connection for the water signs? Ooh, two of cups. I could feel that two of cups turning into the light. See the two of cups and the four of wands is in the dark. The four of swords is also in the dark. So I feel like there is opportunity here for these cards to turn back into the light. And I do feel like this sense of a new journey for some of you is beginning. If you are in a relationship already, and maybe you're just ready for the next stage of whatever that relationship is for you. If you're not in a relationship, I do feel like there is potential about you getting out, you taking action, you, you know, dealing with that stuff at the bottom there that turns the two of cups in the light. This also represents the two of cups can also be like a soul connection type of energy trying to come through. You know, the two of cups does represent that unified love and romance and passion and attraction and everything we've been trying to, to get out of here, get out of this deck, you know? And the four of swords is in the dark, so I do feel like making sure your heart is well mended from any past relationships and that you are emotionally ready for what is next for you. I feel like because of four swords is in the dark, you've already done some of this, this meditation. You've already done the work. And I feel like you're just ready to get up and get going. You may need a little bit more time to get that energy to fully get up and go and take that action like the king, the Knight of Swords there. The Four of Wands, I feel like that is representing your celebration of unifying your love. So that could be just taking that date, taking whatever next steps you need to to move forward. We're just going to clarify. What does the Water Signs need to know about love, romance, passion, and intimacy? 
Huh, this is a little confusing. This came out for the air signs as well. The coffee cup with the wedding rings and the clock. So I feel like there's a lot of this going on. That is strange. For the coffee cup, it says meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted and friendship. So maybe you'll meet someone that first will just be a friendship, but maybe timing will be on your side and it will grow into something more. You do have me time, take time, <laughs> in time cycles, time to heal, progress. You know, I do feel like with the four of swords, you have been taking time to heal, which is awesome. For some of you, you may still need a little bit more time. And for some of you, if it's you in a relationship already, it's time for you to take that next step. And this one suggests a wedding ring, but it also says union, wedding, married, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise. So maybe some of you will be getting a promise ring. Maybe it will be a marriage proposal this summer, which would be completely awesome, you know? Maybe it's something else like moving in together or just, you know, having that celebration of the two of you announcing that this is a relationship and not just a dating scenario type thing. But that is what I got for you. I'm going to get you a message from the fairies. Let's just see what the fae have to say about water signs for love, romance, and intimacy. What advice does the fae have for love, romance, and intimacy? What does the fae have to say for love, romance, intimacy, passion, <laughs> solitude, abundance? Tree wisdom, that is interesting. Solitude, for some of you, you may still need to do some some meditation, some shadow work, some contemplating and healing. It says, think of being alone as meaning you are all alone and a total harmony with everything. The greatest treasures are those that wait silently during the quiet times. You also have abundance. Prepare yourself for incoming abundance. <laughs> Be ready for, you know, this and the two of cups turning into the light. <laughs> says release any mental blocks that you may have in fairy land and human land there is enough abundance for everyone <laughs> tree wisdom the tree dryad will help you navigate through your con current situation her flute can reveal insights and answers through the sound it makes Ooh, so if you mind if you do hear happen to hear like a sound like a fruit flute or any type of other instrument just be open-minded. Maybe that is a sign that your new love is near or that direction to go into it could be a sign. You know, any little fate. It could be a sign, you know, randomly seeing a peanut shell at your windowsill or something. Those, All those little things are signs from the fae. Um, you know, fae's can <laughs> shapeshift into different animals and birds and things. So keep in mind they may be guiding you or trying to direct you in an energy to help you find this love and passion and romance. Remember Faye in general is all about sex and love and romance and fire and energy and all that sort of thing. <laughs> so keep that in mind and I hope you have a great summer and you can always catch me. I'm going to change my screens before I continue talking. I'm going to say thank you for joining me and you can join me live every Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and every second Sunday. I'm going to be trying to do some mo Mondays. Mondays will be for members only. If you do want a membership, those are coming up soon. So, yeah, I hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!